Hi, uh, this is Larry again. Uh, this morning, we had a, a lesson about how to use the Avid Media Composer to do video and audio slow mo together. Um, especially the audio part is a little bit complicated, and uh, so I will do this little video session to recap the steps. And if you don't remember, you can use this as a reference. Okay, let me share my screen. <coughs> Okay, um, I just want to go back to uh, the earlier part, just uh, to have the entire process. Okay, we start with the video like this. This is a YouTube video I got from somewhere. This uh, whole video is like, uh, I think nine minutes or seven minutes. Okay. And uh, I cut it short. Basically, this is a mother and the son doing fun. <laughs> Lockdown time. Okay, there's three parts. Um, I'm going to. Um, so, uh, for the first two classes, we had. Uh, um, I put a blur wing on the both side. Basically, um, I just uh, copy the same video and make two layers and make a bottom layer a blurred and we use a 3d warp defocus uh, to make it a blurred then we add a second layers in video on so we had this wing on that okay um, before we uh, start to work on that because um we because we had two layers uh, effect on that already so we want to get rid of those effects and uh, do mix down and if you don't have mixed down a key mapped on your keyboard and you can go to a timeline go to mix down and go to video mix down okay select your target drive your bin and uh, it goes by the way i'm using a zoom meeting video recording and this is really fantastic <clears throat> right now it's a mix down on my uh, display one you cannot see it it's almost done okay it's done it's here so you can just double click load it on the source monitor and then make sure you line up your v1 with v1 here and then like uh, select v video two and deselect video one then press OK. So it's on. Okay. Then uh, what a joke. <laughs> uh, what I need to do You said to me, I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not the last part, okay. Um, I want to start at the first frame of the third try. Uh, and uh, so to find the first frame of first try, you can either look at the video or you can just simply go to this cut. If you see the video cut, you know that's the, the first frame, okay. Let's Go there, and uh, then I'm going to use this function add edit to slice slices. So let me try again. Add edit. If you notice here, there's a little thing, and it shows there's a cut. So the entire video is a two part. Okay, and uh, this this second part is where I want to do the slow mo and uh, instead of doing the complete second part i want to go back to real speed right before the jump so i would add another cut so now we're going to have real speed real speed sure then here we're going to have a slow mo then we'll go back to real speed okay to go to um slow mo it's pretty simple videos so actually relatively simple you go to command palette 
if you don't have a command palette here, you can go to tools and uh, here's command palette, or you can simply press control eight, command palette will show up, okay? And um, <clears throat> this is a time warp we need to use. Replay. Select time warp on this drawdown menu, and uh, on the right drawdown menu, go to time warp. And simply drag it around. And normally, you will have this window, uh, edit mode, um, effect mode show up. If it doesn't, and uh, just make sure your indicators are over this effect, then go to effect mode, and this thing will show up. And sometimes, if the machine is not happy, you will see something like this. Then just simply drag it open. So, yeah, then we're ready to go. Uh, let's do the simple, let's just do 50%. Okay, you can drag down to slow, slow it, or you can move it up to speed it up. Okay, 200%, 250%, okay. Let's go to slow mode. <clears throat> Oh, by the way, if you want to go reverse, you can go like a below zero, the video actually go reverse, okay? But today we will simply <coughs> do slow 50%. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's close that. Okay, and first of all, this is slow down, right? Another thing we notice, the audio is not in sync. <clears throat> the reason is that uh, and, uh, this video we work on, let's see how long it is. Um, this video, look, it's just three seconds and two frames. And after we slow down, we actually slow down 50%. It's supposed to be six seconds or four frames, but it's still three seconds. And that means we only have the first three seconds, we don't have the second half. And that's why the audio is off sync. Now we need to get the rest of the three seconds. Now what do we do? We go to trim mode, trim mode here. And <clears throat> so we have trim mode, but we don't want to get rid of this, the end part. So we click here once. Uh, or we can uh, just click here once. So, <clears throat> we're in the, I don't know what you call this mode. This is called trim, trim A side. We only trim A side, we don't affect B side. And if we use this yellow thing instead of this red thing, and uh, this will allow us to push this video on the right side. If we if we were in trim, trim A, B side, and it will replace that. That's the difference. Okay, let's go to trim A side. Oops, hit the wrong button. Okay, and remember it was a 302, right? So uh, if you have a keypad, just uh, type plus 302. See, it's here. Okay, enter, and then you will have the rest. Then we have the the rest of the video. Okay, just in case you don't have, um, if you have laptop, you don't have the uh, number keypad. I think you still could do it. Uh, let me try. I have never tried. I don't know what we can do. Trim A side. Okay, plus three o two. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, All right. Okay, so okay, now we have the video down. Okay, video is complete down. Okay, notice that the slow mo, and at the end, it went to real speed. Now the problem is the audio. The audio doesn't doesn't match. So now we need to work on the audio. Audio is uh, separate. It's uh, actually more complicated than video. And I'm pretty sure there's somewhere, some way to do it much easier. But with Avid Media Composer, this is the only way I know how to do uh, audio slow-mo. <clears throat> okay. And first of all, make sure audio one track is selected and uh, your indicator is over it. 
Then we go to here, tubes and audio suite. And uh, notice here, and you have like num. And uh, this is a plugin, audio plugin. It has a lot of different effects. So I have to tell the machine which effect we want to use. It's all this different effect. You can really go crazy with it. And <clears throat> so we can go to the one we're going to use is a time shift. Okay. After we put it in, notice it's here. And notice this is a little blue button. That means it's uh, it's not rendered, and we need to work on that. We need to activate it first. Yep, activate it. We have this button show up, and all kind of crazy things you can do. But for this class, we only change the speed here. Speed, highlight it, at 50. So we just use 50% of speed. After, after that, and uh, we need to render. Look, this is right now a little blue dot. That means it's unrendered. Let's render it. Okay, it's rendered. Blue dot is gone. Okay, <clears throat> then let's close this window. Close that window. Notice it's still not long enough. And um, I don't know why they doesn't do it automatically, but let's do it manually. Now we use trim mode, and this time we need to use trim A B side. Let me show you what happens if we trim use trim A side. If we do that, look, it will, will open up a gap on video. Okay. Deselect it. So we we'll use trim A B side. Then we can just simply move this. I uh, what, what I did is use this. Okay. It, it will stop uh, here. Um, if you continue click, it will stop and replace. Um, but if you don't do that, let me stop that. <coughs> okay. um, but notice it's still not in sync. Still not, still not in sync because it's not rendered. So let me highlight it. This time we render it by right click. Go to here, render, render. Oh, no, we don't want to render in and out. We don't want to render in and out. So we have in and out, um, and we deselect them. And then do it again. Render at the position. Okay, click. Notice it changed, right? See, that was before, so it looked like this. This big part is the yelling, yeah, this. So this should be gone to here. This and that is the exact same. So what do we do? We do render. And then render. And then render. Just notice this uh, audio track. So notice here. Render. See, it changes. OK, let's see. OK, that's how you do. Audio and video slow mo together with added media compression. Oh, okay. Thank you, everybody. That's it. <clears throat> I hope it helped. <clears throat> end the meeting. Where's the end the meeting? Here it is. Oh, I need to stop recording first.